Hello there everybody, this is Ira, and it's Wednesday, and Wednesday means indie games. I've got another brand new indie game for you today. This one's called Hex 2. It was just released on the 8th of June, and it is a sequel to the puzzle game Hex, which I have not played, so I cannot compare this to the original, but uh, I have played the first few levels of this, and you guys are in for a treat. This is a nice one. Let's, as always, take a look at the options first. Always important to check out, they've got color assistance, presumably for colorblind people, very good. Uh, you can turn on a darker background, so there's some accessibility options for visuals there. You can mute the sound, music and sound, as always. And I am going to actually reset my save data, so that we can just start from the beginning and show you guys the tutorial. Take a peek at the credits, always a nice idea to take a peek at the credits, these are the people who made the game. Um, nice job, guys. I'm liking it so far. I like it so far. You guys know that I love my these, these little minimalist puzzle games. And this one is, is pretty well made, and it's a an interesting concept. It's one I haven't seen in a standalone game before. I have seen, like, single puzzles in other games. Like, uh, one of the Rusty Lake games has a puzzle with this sort of mechanic in it, but I've never seen a whole game based on just this. So click to move to a neighboring tile, clear the tiles to win. I like that they put the tutorial front and center, and then they move it down to the bottom, they don't take it away. So that's like, uh, you're this little light here, you just wanna jump on all the tiles, see? Level one, I did it! Perfect! Cool. So yeah, um, very nice job on the implementation of the tutorial, it's a nice way to do it. Everything's very clear. You can jump one or two spaces at a time. Okay, so now we learned that we can jump like this. Pretty good. Bum, bum, ba, da, bum. And I did it. Perfect. One thing I noticed is that um, if you finish a level, it doesn't send you to the next level immediately. And at first I was like, oh, they should really send you to the next level immediately. But now I see that sometimes they open up more than once. So I guess they're sending you to the level select so you have the choice of where you want to go next. Which is fine. Orange wall tiles are too tall to jump over and don't need to be cleared. Now, there was one of these in the very first level. This is a very, very minor little nitpicky critique, but um, maybe they shouldn't have put one in the first level. I understand why they did, because to go around in a circle, uh, they have to block the player from jumping so that they could learn to go one tile at a time. But I was a little bit confused in the first level the first time I played it. Nice. Just nice? What about perfect? Was it not perfect? Could I have done that more efficiently? I don't think so. I don't think so. Jump on a gray tile twice to remove it. So now we're getting into... Yeah, okay. Boom, boom, boom. Still not too difficult, but we're just at the very start. Excellent, thank you. Level five. Jump on white tiles as many times as you want. They don't need to be cleared. So these are just little jumping pads. So from any one of these... You can't jump to the others, so you have to keep these in that white one in the middle. Great. Great, they say. Now this one's a different color, and I'm not sure if it's because I didn't do it in the most efficient possible way, or if some of them just have different colors when you finish them. That's something they could have made a little bit clearer. I am curious if the colors have meanings. You can turn on a grid in the options menu. Let's go ahead and turn on the grid. Oh! Hmm. That doesn't lead straight to the options menu. No. We have to go all the way to the menu. Okay, that's not the best. It will be good to be able to reach the options menu um, right from the game. I don't really see any reason why you have to completely quit the level. So I'm going to turn the grid on just to take a look at it. We could turn on the color assist and let's see what the dark background looks like. Let's just turn all the options on. Just because I'm curious. Go back here. I mean, with all these, I mean, these, these loading screens, these transitions are really nice. But they take a lot of time. If you want to quickly go to the menu, it takes a little while. So I have now turned on the grid. And I guess that, yeah, that does help a little bit. It lets you see um, all the spaces. However, I think I don't like the dark background, actually. So, uh, but I, I noticed when you turn on the grid, it also puts these little symbols on here. Or is this the color assist? This is probably the color assist. So if you don't see the colors of the tiles, you can see the symbols. That's great. Um, the contrast is a little bit low on some of these. I think some colorblind people might have trouble seeing some of these symbols. There's a square here, X here, and a gear here. Um, but it's better than a lot of games do, so I'm good for them on that, I suppose. I 
think this one is just... Excellent. And again, we've got a new color. So I'm guessing these are just decorative and they don't have any meaning. Oh, I was going to turn off that dark background. I'll do it for the next one. Alright, so... This one's going to disappear when I jump off of it, isn't it? So now we have to actually, you know... We have to actually solve a puzzle here. So if I go to this one... That's it. I'm done. I gotta reset. So I think I've gotta do, uh, this first. We can go this way. There we go, I did it! I think that was the first one that actually felt like a puzzle. Like that I could fail. We're on our own now. Taking the training wheels off. Now we have to actually, uh... Hmm. I feel like- I feel like I may have not succeeded this time. Okay. So you can see it actually- it's- it's not as simple as you might think. Now that one's gonna have to be last, I guess? Hmm. Pretty sure that's- that has to go like that. We go around this way? No. I guess that's left over. Alright, alright, we can do this. We can do this. What if I go this way? Oh no, because now I've, st I've still got this one up there. We're close! I have actually beaten this before. I don't remember how I did it now. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Oh, I think, we, I think we got it. We got it, we got it, I did it. Completed. Phew. That was trickier than it looked. And this is just the first set of levels. I mean, they, they, um, they definitely introduce all kinds of other mechanics. Hmm. No. Yes. Yes! Haha! <laughs> I did it. Very nice. And that's it. It would be the, uh... I don't know. There's, there's one more. There's one more. Is this, like, the extra hard one? Oh, goodness. I actually, I don't think I did this one yet. So you, you guys can see, I think, immediately. This one... This one is not going to be, uh, the easiest puzzle game I've ever played. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, oh dearie, oh dearie, dearie me. Hmm. Huh. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I feel like I, w I, was, I was starting off well here. No, 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 I'm getting worse. Oh no. <laughs> oh no! No, no, no. How did I? How did I do that last time? Yes. Somebody help me. Somebody tell me. Leave leave a comment. Tell me how to do it. <laughs> what if I go this way first? Um. No, that's not. That's not gonna do it, is it? Because. I think this one right here has to be last, somehow. And the only way to get to it is from the tile I'm on right now. Wow. Hmm. I might not solve this one on, on the video, you guys. Obviously, as, as I always do, I'm, I'm just gonna show the first set of levels. I am not going to complete the game. Sorry. Sorry. But... You know, you guys have got a I 
don't want to spoil the whole game. I can't even talk. I'm so focused. You guys. <laughs> Hold on. We might have it. We might have it. Might have it. Oh no. Don't have it. So close though. So close. That one That one needed one more, one more little bop. Oh my goodness. Let's see if I can remember what I did there. Figure out. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I think. I think I know. I think I know what to do, folks. No, that wasn't it though. I needed to. I did this before. I did this before, and I did well. It was like that. Right. And then around here. Then up here. And then I went up here. No, that's... If I go here... Then I can't, get, I can't get back down. Hmm. Maybe I need to leave this one somehow? I'm not sure. I, th I think I've got the start correct. No, it was like that. Feeling pretty confident about this part. Maybe, maybe this is the part I need to do. I think at this point, I'm already, it's already too late now. I can't, I can't do that. If some of you have probably already solved it. <laughs> You're screaming at the computer. You're screaming at the video. No, I don't know. You are derping so hard right now. Can't jump on this one because then I'll end up this is the only way to get here. This one has to be last, for sure. What if I tried going up this way first? No, I feel like that's that's probably not it either. Wait. Wait. Hold on. Am I close here? Yes! Yes! Oh! Friends, we did it! We did it! And I got an achievement for beating all the first uh, set of levels. Oh, that is so satisfying. Alright, so there you go, guys. This is the first set of levels, including one that was pretty challenging. Probably why it's got a little star next to it. I'm guessing these colors are just decorative, and they don't tell you whether you solved the puzzle perfectly or not. Maybe each puzzle has only one solution. I don't know. Uh, but there are a whole bunch of sets of levels, as you can see. Nice little transitions and animations here. Um, yeah, it's got the... Ooh, ooh, how fancy. I'm not allowed to play these yet anyway. I gotta do these ones first. Um, I'm definitely gonna be playing more of this one, guys. I think it's quite well made. And um, thank you very much to the developer for, for sending me a copy and asking me to review it. You're definitely getting a positive review from me. So, well done. Good job. I like it. I hope you guys liked it. Uh, keep, keep coming back, you guys, every Wednesday. New indie game. Checking that out. And uh, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye!